Why is Marcus Smart not cutting here? Stop. So here comes a double team. Jason Tatum just sprained his ankle on the previous possession. Why are you going to make him finish through two defenders as opposed to just cutting, and this is a drop-off pass for a layup? What is Marcus Smart doing? It's the same thing. Al Horford has a complete mismatch on this switch. Max Struess is going to come over and double. Do you realize how pointless it is that Marcus Smart is not cutting here? Because Derek White can replace him in the corner and be wide open. So that corner three is there. Why not see if we can also get a layup? I mean, it's like you have no offensive system. It's just garbage. Okay, so in a zone, the most vulnerable area of the zone is the middle of the zone right here. The Celtics are going to get it to the middle of the zone. But Marcus Smart, why does he stand? This is a layup. What are you doing? Do the Celtics work on zone offense at all? Because the Heat have been running this all series. The Celtics have no offensive system. How many layups are they going to turn down? You have Al Horford again on an incredible mismatch. And Max Struess is fronting the post. You know Jimmy Butler's going to have to come here and backside help. So as soon as he leaves here, stop. Jason Tatum should be gone. This should be catch, pass, dunk. Nah, we're going to hang around and we're going to take an hour to cut. And now you lose that opportunity. What do the Celtics do in practice? What do they see on film? What does Joe Missoula even do at all? So Al Horford easily beats Kayla Martin on a pump-and-go drive right here. This is going to bring every Heat defender imaginable. Jalen Brown should be gone. This corner three isn't going anywhere. Derek White can easily replace you right here in the corner. Let's see if we can get a dunk out of it. Okay, so let's give us the opportunity to have a dunk or a layup. Nah, everyone just stands, so now the Heat get to collapse their entire defense and still contest, and you get nothing. Okay, so the Celtics' half-court offense is completely non-existent. Their coach is terrible. They don't have a system at all. So this is easy baskets now in transition, which you're going to need. Malcolm Brogdon has got to run his lane. This is a two-on-one. Why would Malcolm Brogdon slow down here? What are you doing? And now we're just going to fling up garbage again. Again, the Celtics get the ball to the middle of the zone. As soon as you see Al Horford about to catch this ball, Jalen Brown should be gone. Bam Adebayo's got to step up here. Okay, so you're either wide open for a layup or you can seal Duncan Robinson down low. You're not The, the middle of the zone is where you want it to be, but it doesn't matter if everybody's just standing around. So now Al Horford, instead of getting a layup, Al Horford's going to fling up a contested hook, whatever that was. This ball has to get down to Al Horford. If the Heat are going to switch everything, then you got to make them pay when there's mismatches. This is a tremendous mismatch. So just relax. Let Al Horford set up down here, and probably a double team's going to end up coming. And then someone else is open. But you, why are you flinging the ball around the perimeter? Just let Al Horford set up and get in position to get a post touch on a mismatch. What? What are you doing? Okay, Jason Tatum is playing on one leg. You know this, but he's still a tremendous decoy. The Heat are going to still send multiple bodies at him here. So if I'm Jalen Brown, I am not standing 10 steps beyond the three-point line. I am moving right up here, right at the three-point line, so this is just catch and shoot, stepping right into an open three. Look at Jalen Brown. Just stand six steps beyond the three-point line and don't move at all. So now Jimmy Butler's able to rotate, and you're just stuck in isolation and barfing up whatever that is. Again, you're not making the Heat pay for all of these switches. Robert Williams III, stop. This is a humongous mismatch. Robert Williams III on Gabe Vincent down low. Relax. Let Robert Williams III force Gabe Vincent to have to front him. Because what's going to happen? Either Robert Williams III is wide open on a lob, or that's going to force Caleb Martin to have to come here and backside help, and now we can get Jason Tatum on a catch-and-shoot three, which he still can do very well. But pff, instead, you're just, you let the Heat switch, and then you don't make them pay for any mismatch whatsoever. Al Horford is not a threat six steps, eight steps beyond the three-point line. Where's Al Horford a threat? If he relocates to the wing, now Caleb Martin's got to decide. Am I going to help on Derek White? Because if that's the case, then it's just a catch-and-shoot three right here. Or do you come to the wing and now Caleb Martin has to back off and Derek White now can go one-on-one? -on -one? But that decision doesn't have to be made by Caleb Martin. He can help on the ball because you're not doing anything out here and more garbage. I just, I have no words.
This is complete trash. Jalen Brown beats his man off the dribble right here. So if you're Derek White, who's not playing on a sprained ankle, cut. Go. Again, Jason Tatum can relocate. This three is going to be open. Either you're going to have a layup or Duncan Robinson sinks down to take you, and now Jason Tatum playing on one leg is going to be wide open for a catch-and-shoot three. Nah, everybody stands, and now Jalen Brown's got to finish through contact, and it's an offensive foul. What is Al Horford doing? The most vulnerable area in the zone is the free throw line right here. Just get right here. Now this ball comes down, that's going to drag Bam Adebayo out from underneath the paint, and now Jalen Brown's going to be wide open. Why are you coming out to set a screen on, what, two Heat players? What is the point of this? So, pfft, just flinging the ball around, more garbage. It's the same thing. I mean, how Joe Missoula still has a job is beyond me. Stop. You see Bam Adebayo coming to have to step up. The Celtics have clanked every three imaginable. Jalen Brown cuts this as a dunk, okay? This three isn't going anywhere. Because if Jalen Brown's not open, that means Duncan Robinson has to step down and take Jalen Brown. This is still here. But everybody stands, and let's just clank another three for the record books.